Get a fan. Go ahead. Here we go. Get back for Here it. we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Enough room. Sandy Weltman. I never know what's going to happen. Um, I, I honestly never know. But I'm really thrilled to be here. 
Um, going to play you a bit of a serious tune. It's something that Ben talked about a bit. I've been a really fortunate guy. I mean, I've got to play at the Opry maybe 300 times over the years and um, just uh, achieved, I've just been really fortunate in a musical career. Just to get to play harmonica for a living is like a, a magic trick. And uh, at the top of my career, about 20 years ago, I came face to face. I was on a tour playing for Canadian Peacekeepers. I won't go into the whole thing, but I came face to face with these kids in Goose Bay, Labrador that were sniffing gas. There were eight kids with bags of gasoline to their face. And um, I got out and played music for them. And since this is a music camp, I can tell you that I learned more about music in that 40 minutes with those kids than I had in my whole so-called uh, career before that in the Opry and everything else. Um, I learned that music is for connecting and, and um, communicating. I mean, played with, for these kids that had bags to their faces and, you know, you'd think they'd tell me to screw off or throw gas on me. They were beside a fire. It was, um, it just changed my life. So from that point, I shelved my career, put it on hold, I parked it, and then started figuring out ways to go out um, across Canada into communities, into flying communities loaded up with harmonicas, and I'd go out in the bush at night looking for kids sniffing gas, and I'd play and then hand them harmonicas, and eventually started lending libraries. I think at this point, we handed out 40,000 harmonicas, and we're all across Canada. Thanks. And now, uh, all through Alaska, too. We're all, we're all through Alaska. But in doing that, I, um, I saw a lot. I saw a lot that really shook me up. And because this is uh, a National Indigenous Peoples Day in Canada, I feel it's only fitting that I play you this, this one song. This came in a dream after seeing a lot of these images and, and what a lot of these people are dealing with. This music was in a dream, and I couldn't explain it to anybody. It was just, it wasn't like regular music. And um, I figured out how to play it. And I think its purpose is to put people in one of those communities because you know you hear it on the news and it goes by you're on to the next thing but sometimes when you hear it in a song it um, I, I don't know it just has got more weight so tunes called a walk in my dream so I'll play that for you <laughs>
that's as close to the bone for me as the day it was 20, 20 years ago. Just uh, one song that can follow it. a lot.